The Endoscopic Pancreatic Function Test, test performed by Dr. Darwin Conwell at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. The EPFT collects pancreatic fluid after 0.2 micrograms per kilogram of synthetic secretin is injected. The fluid collection is used for determining pancreatic insufficiency, genetic and DNA testing, and proteomics testing. Two versions of EPFT. The shortened EPFT sample times are at 30 and 45 minutes. The full EPFT sample times are at 15, 30, 45, and 60 minutes. Sample times are collected and run on a standard auto analyzer for bicarbonate concentrations. Okay, we're going to do the um, endoscopic uh, pancreas function test, and I'm going to just show you how we collect one of our samples. So this is a healthy volunteer as for our proteomic analysis studies. And so we're going to, the first thing we do is we attach the specimen trap. And this is our 45 minute um, collection. We'll attach the trap onto the scope. And then we advance the scope down. The scope's already in the duodenum. And you can see here on the monitor, there's fluid already here in the duodenum. We're going to just aspirate that fluid to the scope. So a slow, gentle uh, suction and uh, just aspirate uh, the fluid. Get a couple photographs while we're down here. We just slowly aspirate uh, the fluid. Now, the 45 minute collection, there's usually not as much fluid down here as there is in the earlier uh, collection. But we just slowly just aspirate, we take our time, and you can see the fluid accumulating when we're just collecting this uh, juice. And uh, the patient is using a left lateral decubitus uh, position. I usually lower the feet because what that does is it allows the fluid to accumulate the duodenum. The inner part of the duodenum is retroperitoneal, so when you um, lower the feet and then turn a little bit on their back, the fluid tends to accumulate. And as you can see here on the screen, there's a lot of fluid here. We're just slowly aspirating this, and I kind of pump the duodenum so it kind of siphons things up through the tip to the tip of the scope. Now I just aspirate it. And the other trick I use is I also, um, see there's a lot of fluid here, you can see that. There's a lot of fluid that we're getting, which is very nice. And so when, when people talk about this test, can you get representative samples of uh, pancreatic juice? The answer is yes. And we've shown that in several of our, our studies, our proteomic uh, papers, that show we definitely get pancreas-specific proteins when we analyze uh, this fluid. The other trick I use, I would say, is I'll actually lightly um, attach port for aspirating and I won't completely seal it. That allows me to not suction up the mucosa as much so I don't traumatize the mucosa and I don't get a lot of blood contamination. You can see here we're not really traumatizing the mucosa at all. Now let's just look down at the trap and right now as you can see you come a little bit close and you've got about 30 to 40 cc's of fluid. This is pure pancreatic juice. Uh, pure pancreatic juice is usually just clear. And so this is a 45 minute collection and we have a fair amount of, uh, of fluid here. Now looking back at the duodenum, we'll uh, collect some more fluid. This is how the procedure is done. It's very easy to do. It does take a little bit of coordination with your nursing staff. The nurses really are the ones that make it happen. And then your laboratory um, personnel has to be able to run the analysis. And we've published several manuscripts and the clear um, methodology for analyzing pancreas juices in several of our papers um, using a, um, an auto analyzer either by Beckman or by Olympus um, for doing this. So the standard laboratory equipment that's available. So that's the end of the collection for the 45 minute sample. I just rest the scope here. The patient is comfortable. We're given boluses of fentanyl and versed. Our studies show that using fentanyl and versed does not impact the uh, bicarbonate concentration that much. What we'll do now is we'll detach the specimen trap from here. And what you can see is there's a large amount of fluid that's here. We've got about 40 to 50 cc's of fluid. And what I do then, this is a, uh, a research study, so this uh, particular sample will be split up for routine laboratory analysis for proteomics, and for, electrolyte ad for electrolyte measurements, and then the remainder will be sent for uh, proteomic uh, analysis. So the first specimen that I have is a specimen for laboratory, and this specimen gets sent down for the standard electrolyte, sodium, potassium, chloride and bicarbonate that's kept on ice. This next uh, sample will be sent for proteomic analysis. We have beautiful pure pancreatic juice. This goes to the proteomics lab, all kept on ice. 
And as you can see here, if you come a little closer, all our specimens are kept on ice. These are the samples that are used for proteomic analysis and for laboratory analysis. These are the samples that are used for uh, proteomic analysis. Okay? So thank you very much, and that's the endoscopic uh, pancreas function test uh, demonstration. Thank you. The EPFT advantages, patient comfort, universal availability, avoidance of radiation exposure, the ability to collect large sample volumes. For more information, please visit www.epft.net.